Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Brad. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Dual Links video. Today, we're going to be talking about some of the new 5Ds characters that will be coming to Dual Links down the line. A big thank you to, of course, XOF for data mining this update. I believe it was him that did it. Um, so, we have a list of characters in the game starting with ID 201, which signals the start of the 5Ds Dual World. Now, as we can see on this list here, from the GX characters, we know there are some there still missing that we haven't had yet. People like Atticus Rhodes, Yubel, uh, Sartorius Kumar, and Terran Hasselberry. So, just because these characters are in the game files now, doesn't mean they're going to come some point down the line. They could, or like immediately, they could come very far down the line. They could come into maybe year 2 of 5Ds, or even year 3 and beyond. So again, just a big like... Not grain of salt because you know we kind of know that some of these characters were going to come anyway, but just don't expect all of them to be there out of the gate on day one because, as we've seen with a GX and with Dual Monsters, that isn't going to be the case. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go over all the new characters and we're going to talk about their ace monsters. Now, these aren't confirmed ace monsters, these are the ace monsters that I think they're going to be based upon the fact that they will want to push the synchro summon mechanic as hard as possible and they'll want to give us the most iconic monsters that those characters have actually used. So let's start with the main character, Yusei Fudo, of course, with Stardust Dragon, probably the most influential synchro monster from the anime, aside from Black Wings. This is a really, really good card. During either player's turn, when a card or effect is activated that would destroy a cards on the field, you contribute this card to negate activation and if you do destroy it, then during the end phase, you can return this card from your graveyard to your field by special summoning, basically, which basically means that you're negating your opponent's card effect for free especially if it's like on your turn then there's no real downside the only downside on your opponent's turn is you haven't got stardust to sit there and protect your life points here we come back at the end phase to you know be able to attack and do other things on your turn so stardust is definitely one of the synchro monsters i think going to be played in pretty much every deck at least at the start of 5ds Assuming we do get him, of course, they could go down the line of giving us Junk Warrior instead, but I really don't think that's going to happen. That would be kind of a big cop-out, I think, considering the whole theme of 5Ds is based around these five dragons. So, uh, so yeah. Next, moving on to the rival of the show, Jack Atlas, with his Red Dragon Archfiend. After damage calculation, this card attacks a defense position monster your opponent controls. Destroy all defense position monsters your, your opponent controls. So... Just wiping the board. Again, I don't see this effect being used a lot because right now, at least we don't have many decks that like that like being in defense mode. I mean, maybe you can say like Amazonis like being in defense mode or they you know, kind of have to be with uh, Amazonis uh, Princess's search effect, I believe it is. But apart from that, most decks kind of like being in attack mode. Maybe Gear Gears, you could say, like being in defense mode a bit more. And Red Dragon Archery would be a nice counter for that deck. During your end phase, destroy all other monsters you control that did not declare an attack this turn. So that is a very, a very devastating effect for you. But in Duel Links, there's a lot of, um, there's not a lot of things that can really like stop attacks outright. You know, um, someone's like change defense mode or whatever, or will just uh, reduce the damage. So you should be fine with this. And again. If you're attacking with, like, Red Dragon Archfiend is going to be a hard monster to bring out on its own. It's still one tuner plus one or more non-tuners have to equal level eight. So, I think Red Dragon Archfiend will be one of those just, you run st straight for its attack power. The, def the defense effect will probably not be used at all. It will just be a nice big beta synchro monster. Now we get Black Rose Dragon, the second most uh, influential synchro monster, I think. Maybe even more so than Stardust, actually. In some ways, Akiza Rosinski bringing her plant deck as well as Black Rose Dragon. 2400 attack, 800 defense. When this card is synchro summoned, you can destroy all cards on the field. Once per turn, you can banish one plant type monster from your graveyard, then target one defense position monster your opponent controls, change that target to face up attack position, and if you do, its attack becomes zero until the end of this turn. So, of course, you could run this in things like uh, Naturias or um, Sylvans, I believe they're plants, yeah. But Akiza's deck works pretty well, I think. You know, in the anime, it was pretty powerful. And in the TCG, I think one of those cards, I think it's Phoenixian Cluster Amaryllis. I believe that's banned now. So uh, we probably won't be seeing that, but we could do. But uh, Black Rose Dragon's pretty devastating effect. 
of just being able to nuke the entire board, including itself when it's summoned, is pretty freaking crazy and can really disrupt the whole flow of a duel very easily. So this is one card you're going to want to watch out for because it is again very splashable, it is a very generic synchro monster as well so you don't just have to use it in plant decks and that first effect is pretty devastating. Moving on to Leo and Luna, the twins of the 5Ds anime. Starting with Luna's ace monster that we will assume being Ancient Fairy Dragon, recently banned in the TCG. Uh, once per turn you can special summon one level 4 or lower monster from your hand. You can knock it onto your battle phase at the turn you activate this card or effect. Uh, once per turn you can destroy as many field spells on the field as possible and if you do gain 1000 life points then you can add one field spell from your deck to your hand. So right now in dual links field spells aren't much of an occurrence so I'm not too sure how big of an impact Fa Fairy Dragon will have out of the gate but her effect to special summon one level 4 lower monster straight away is really good because especially if you can combine it with other things at special summon then you can potentially go into Fairy Dragon plus another synchro monster in one turn. Of course no could actually battle phase but you might not need to depending on what you go into. So Fairy Dragon is a very powerful card, look out for it in the future, especially later down the lines we get more field spell support, really really cool card. Next we have Power Tool Dragon, Leo's ace monster, or at least you know if you've seen the dub of the anime that is his ace in the sub in the Japanese version. Power Tool undergoes a transformation towards the end of the show and hopefully we'll see that in Duel Links, we'll see that as an event, it'll be kind of cool. Once per turn you can reveal 3 equipped spell cards from your deck, then your opponent randomly adds one of them to your hand and you shuffle the rest back into your deck. If this card would be destroyed while equipped with an equipped spell card, you can send one of those cards to the graveyard instead. So it's a very good searcher for equipped spells and again it is very specific to the Morphtronic deck. That is really where you're going to get the most benefits, the most use out of Power Tool Dragon when it comes to Duel Links. And Morphtronic's are a very fair deck I think for the game. Of course they've seen a bit more support with the Link mechanic. They've been able to become a bit more swarm based and go into very powerful Link monsters. But Power Tool is kind of like the best you're going to get from Morphtronics, I think. At least from the early Morphtronics, depending on what they give us in Duel Links. So again, Power Tool Dragon won't see as much play, but it'll be a nice fun deck to go around with uh, until we get some better equip card themes. Like maybe Noble Knights could use this, but again, I don't know why you'd go into Power Tool specifically for Noble Knights when you have other options within the archetype itself. Next, we have Crow Hogan, the definitely the most influential character or the TCG and OCG. Uh, Crow was originally meant to be a dark sign, I believe it was, but uh, or like a villain for the show. And they made him a good guy because his Blackwing monsters were selling so well. That's how I understand it. But here we have Blackwinged Dragon. This actually isn't a Blackwing monster, which is why I think this is what they'll give us rather than things like Armor Master, which is probably Crow's actual ace for the early versions of 5Ds. Uh, Blackwing Dragon is one of the five dragons that make up the signers. Uh, if this card, if you would take damage from a card effect, place one Black Feather counter on this card instead. This card loses 700 attack for every Black Feather counter on it. Once per turn, you can remove one of those Black, no, not one, sorry, all of those Black Feather counters on this card. Then target one face-up card, or one face-up monster your opponent controls. That target loses 700 attack for each Black Feather counter you removed, and if it does, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the attack lost by its effect. So, minimum, you're going to be basically getting rid of 700 attack points and dealing 700 points of damage to your opponent every time you use the effect. Of course, if you're going against Burn, then Blackwing Dragon is going to be a very incredible monster for that deck. Won't be too great in uh, Blackwings, I don't think. I don't think you really run it in that deck, but uh, Crow will probably give us Blackwings, and I think that Crow is the least likely character to kind of appear out the gate, just because it's very similarly to Zayn with Cyber Dragons. Crow was very impactful to the TCG, Blackwings were very impactful, and I think Konine would kind of want to prolong that and potentially make a bit of money out of Blackwings when they finally come to Duel Links, so don't expect Crow right out of the gate, but I'd be very happy if we did, because Blackwings are a very fun swarm archetype to play. Next, we have Officer Tetsu Trudge, one of the very earliest characters in 5Ds. Probably going to bring us Goyo Guardian or Montage Dragon, but Goyo is the uh, Synchro Monster that he uses, his most famous synchro monster so uh let's go with goyo guardian a card that uh saw a lot of tcg play and had to actually be errated so it is a six star 200 attack 2000 defense so very easy to summon requires one earth tuner and one or more non-tuner monsters so that's a little bit harder but still pretty simple when this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard 
you can special summon that monster to your side of the field in defense position. So next turn, you could use it to attack your opponent with, go for game, uh, or just use it as a giant wall, or use it next turn to go in for some more synchro summons. Goyo was very, very prevalent in TCG, so expect it to be played a lot if it comes to Duel Links, and hopefully when it comes to Duel Links, because it'll be a, a very good card. Next, we have two of the Dark Signers, so these are the bad guys that kind of came around within the Season 2 of the anime. Kalen Kessler, bringing with him Earthbound Immortal Kabak Apu, so these are kind of weird cards, um, very powerful cards. There can only be one Earthbound Immortal monster on your field. If there is no face-up field spell card in the field, destroy this card, so it's kind of like the Malefic monster if you ever played with those. Uh, your opponent cannot target this card for attacks. This card can attack your opponent directly, and if this card destroys the opponent's monster by battle, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the destroyed monster's original attack. So, it is a very, very powerful card. It is very hard to summon. It's a three tribute monster, so, you know, it's going to take some time to work up to getting to this thing. Kaelin could be bringing with us some of his other support. I believe he had the Infernity cards, which were really powerful in the TCG. So, again, Kaelin's probably going to be a character that's going to appear later down the line. But still a really cool boss monster if we do get it. And finally, the last character we have is Carly Carmine, Dark Sign of Carly, at least. She ran the uh, Fortune Fairies, Fortune Ladies, I believe it was, uh, in the anime. And her Earthbound Immortal was Astla Piscu. So again, you know, it can only be one of them on the field at a time. If there's no field of spell, face of field spell card, you destroy this card. And it can't be targeted for an attacks. Uh, when this face-up card leaves the field, except by its own effect, destroy as many face-up monsters your opponent controls as possible. And if you do, inflict any points of damage to your opponent for every one destroyed. So, again, maximum of 2400 points of damage going to your opponent's life points was a lot more devastating in the TCG and in the anime, of course, because, you know, you could nuke a board of five and wipe out your opponent. But in Duel Links, that's a little bit harder to do. And again, a very powerful monster to summon, very hard monster to summon. Not sure if it's going to see too much play, but the, uh, the Fortune Ladies, I believe, I know one of my friends is a very big advocate of that archetype, so those will be very cool to see in Duel Links when they do come around. But that is it for today's Duel Links League video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know your thoughts on these 5 these characters in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next Duel Links video. See you then.